Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here and in this tutorial we'll take a look at how PayPal donation buttons can be created when using the WP Express checkout plugin. Donation buttons allow the customer to enter the price they would like to pay in exchange for a product or service or in some cases nothing other than goodwill. First things first though, you'll need to have the WP Express checkout plugin installed, activated and set up on your WordPress website. So if you get to do this, please do so now. We have some documentation on the simple setup process, which you can find on the WP Express Checkout website. I've landed on my WordPress website now, where I've previously created a donation style product with the WP Express Checkout plugin. As you can see, when a customer lands on a donation type product that you have created, there'll be a minimum amount that you can specify, and then they can just simply change that to the amount that they'd like to donate. So if my customer wanted to donate 10 USD to the Save the Pandas cause, they can enter 10 and then they can choose to pay with PayPal or a debit or credit card. Let's take a look at how this can be achieved from the back end of my website. Once you go to your WordPress dashboard, you'll need to click on the WP Express checkout menu and then add new product. You'll create your product as you usually would, but in the price section is where you will differ and you may also like to change the default button type. So let's take a look at that. You want to start by giving your donation product a title and a description. You might like to keep the title short and simple and straight to the point about what the donation will be for. And then you might like to extend on that in the description area to really sell that donation to your customers. So your donation product may just be for goodwill or you may be giving the customer a product or a service or a digital item in exchange for their donation. So that's entirely up to you. I'll go ahead now and I'll add a title and a description for my donation. Once you've entered the title and the description for your donation product, if you scroll down slightly, we'll be focusing on the price section. So in the price field, you'll need to enter the minimum amount you'd like your customers to donate. So $1 or so is a good idea as anything less really will get eaten up with those PayPal fees. So just make sure you're mindful of the fees before entering the lowest donation amount you'd like to accept. Then you'll also need to mark the allow customers to enter amount checkbox. This will allow your customers to enter any amount higher than this to pay to make the donation. So that allows this to be a donation type product. Let's scroll down a little further and I'll just explain one other thing. So you may like to add a download URL to the product if you're going to be giving the customer a downloadable file. I'll just be giving out a picture of a panda bear for their donation. Same goes for the product thumbnail. You might like to add an image as that product thumbnail to give them an idea of what the donation is about. Finally, in the appearance related section, you can choose the button type that will apply on a per product basis. So for your donation product, it probably makes the most sense to choose the pay or the checkout options. I'll just use the pay option for my donation style product. If we scroll to the top, we can then simply publish out this product that we've created. So I can then view my product straight from that product page, or I can add it to any page or post on my WordPress website using this short code here. I'll just go ahead and I'll view that straight from that products page. And as you can see, it's nicely displayed there and it's got that field where my customers can either choose to donate $1 or they can backspace that and enter any amount of their choosing and then continue to pay with PayPal or a debit or credit card. So now I've just quickly gone ahead and I've entered in my PayPal sandbox details just so I can show you what the checkout process is with a donation style product. So it's basically the same as any product, but I'll just run through it quickly. So your customer would need to enter in their PayPal information or pay with debit or credit card to make the donation. So if I'm paying with my PayPal account, I click login. I'd simply choose how I'd like to pay with my PayPal balance for this example, and then I click pay now. I'm then successfully redirected to the thank you page where I can download any digital item that I may be receiving for making the donation. And I can see that I've helped save the endangered pandas by donating $100.
The administrators of the site can then see this within the orders menu. If I head back to my WordPress dashboard as the merchant and I go to WP Express checkout orders, I can see that I've received a successful donation there two minutes ago. So that brings us to the end of this short tutorial on how you can create a donation style product using the WP Express checkout plugin. Please contact us with any questions or queries that you may have. If I head back to my WordPress dashboard as the merchant and I go to WP Express checkout orders, I can see that I've received a successful donation there two minutes ago. So that brings us to the end of this short tutorial on how you can create a donation style product using the WP Express Checkout plugin. Please contact us with any questions or queries that you may have. Please contact us with any questions or queries that you may have.